OK, now for the first part then, we're given this probability distribution table and also that E of X, the expected mean, is going to be 0 0.55 and we've got to work out P and Q. So to do that, how are we going to do it? Well, it's based on the idea that uh, we know that E of X is, or we should know anyway, that E of X is the sum of all our observed values multiplied by the probability of that observed value. Okay, so using this result, okay, we can say that therefore 0.55 for E of X has got to equal this particular summation. In other words, minus 1 times p, minus 1 times p, plus 0 times q. I know that's 0, but I'm just going to purposely put that in just for the sake of it. And then plus 1 times 0 0.2, and so on. So we'll just finish this off. 2 times 0 0.15, plus 3 times 0 0.15. And if we work this out, okay, we've got 0 0.55 on this side, and we've got minus p here. Uh, this is clearly zero, but if you work that part out, what you find you get is plus 0 0.95. And so, therefore, we need to just rearrange this if we were to add p to both sides and subtract 0 0.55 from both sides, we'd end up with p equaling 0 0.95 minus 0 0.55, which is 0 0.4. So that gets us our p value, but not the value of q. So how do we get q? Well, we should know that the sum of all the probabilities comes to 1. So we could put something like also here, we know that P, which is 0 0.4, plus Q, plus the 0 0.2, the 0 0.15, and the other 0 0.15, well, that's got to come to 1. And if you add these values up, subtract away from 1, you'll find that you get Q equals 0 0.1. And there you go. Nice, easy question for starters.